Hey guys, today we're going to review the M1 Finance portfolio and I can't even remember the last time I actually looked at this portfolio. It's actually my Roth IRA, but we're going on going ahead and review it right now. So let's start it up. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the application here. Um, I've actually been uh, recently looking at what it's been doing. And uh, I'm like I said in the previous videos, I have been neglecting this uh <clears throat> excuse me i have been neglecting this roth ira and i choose to not do that anymore i want to focus on my retirement because it's very important to have some sort of retirement savings a sort of like a plan b or a plan c d e or f g or whatever you wanted to call it but i'm going to go on ahead and talk about what my changes were you guys can see it there in my roth ira so i have been putting money into my retirement account and i actually have a trade pending it's a cash trade for two hundred dollars just to stay Take a look at that see if i can bring it up here so yeah i've been putting depositing money into the roth ira and what from the changes that i can see i actually put at&t into my roth ira and uh, let's take a look at at&t and see where it's at right now the average share price is 29 dollars and 47 cents and i believe at&t share price right now trades at 29 dollars and 58 cents so i'm slightly up on them for the m1 finance uh, platform you guys know that you can buy fractional shares right now for my shares i have 94 shares 94.3 shares let's take a look at the graph uh, this is for AT&T this is not actually an entire portfolio but uh Let's see earned dividends oh actually i some earned dividends out of that that's um really interesting to see i don't believe i should get any dividends because i don't think i qualify for it but um you know i recently i just recently bought this i um what i traded out uh ticker symbol voo the uh, vanguard s p 500 etf and i pr pretty much put that in the robin hood portfolio so what i'm trying to do guys for my uh strategy here is to sort of have like a bond substitute i want a high dividend paying stock in my roth ira and pretty much you guys already know that um for um roth iras you don't pay any taxes so i'm not going to be taxes i mean excuse me i'm not being i'm not going to be taxed on any dividends um as far as um all the dividends that i received from at&t and that will maximize my um my gains so i think that the way to go is to have a bond substitute along with an addition to my robin hood portfolio and uh yeah that's not, not really much to say about this guys this is uh i i will be uh, buying AT&T here at this $29 mark. I definitely think that there's some value here as far as buying it below $30. And I will continue to buy this company as my bond substitute. I get a 7.3 dividend yield. I think it's actually 7.2, but it's still pretty high in that regard. I have 94 shares and I will continue to just con I will continue to just buy AT&T below that $30 mark. So I don't even care if I end up with 10,000 shares of this company, but I will just keep buying and buying and buying it as long as it is below $30. And when it gets above when it gets above $30, I will um I will turn off the drip. I will turn off the buying for this company. But you guys can take a look at my stats um from February 15, 2018 all the way to August 2nd, 2020. We can see a lot of volatility towards the end there due to that correction um because of the coronavirus. My net cash flow is $2,498.78. Um, uh let's take a look at earned dividends, $102. So again, it's just to maximize the dividend potential that I see with uh, the company, and I definitely think that this is a wise choice moving forward as far as um, you know maximizing those dividends because in a uh, in my Robinhood cash account, I'm going to be taxed for all the dividends that I receive. In this account, I do not get taxed because this is a Roth IRA and I have a total return of 34%. So I am up on the, um, uh, excuse me, my portfolio is up almost $400 in my retirement. So very good to see that the portfolio, um, it recovered nicely from that coronavirus. And again, this is the company that I want to focus on. I'm going to continue to deposit funds into this company as long as it's below $30. 
and I think that's gonna be it for the video there's only one stock in here as you guys can see uh, one thing that I do want to talk about is I want to talk about the Webull platform I actually downloaded a Webull and I've been sort of just testing the waters with this application It's very uh, difficult interface because I'm like again I'm so used to being on M1 finance I'm so used to being on Robinhood and um, it, it's gonna take me a little bit of time to like understand what all this stuff is like oh the, what the screen is doing like the communities it's you know look at competition here they got top news but i definitely think there's a lot of potential with this uh this trading app i definitely like webull in some instances i like it more i like it more than robin hood but i'm just so familiar with robin hood i really haven't dived into um what it's been doing i haven't really dived into uh, the Webull account. So I'm going to turn this into something. I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, my Robinhood portfolio right now is pretty much growth stocks. Um, I guess I can re quickly review that, but I want to turn Webull into something. I don't know if I'm going to turn this into a dividend portfolio. I prefer the dividend portfolio to be in my Roth IRA, so I'm not taxed on those dividends, but um, that's just another case for another time, I guess. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. But um, again, uh, my M1 Finance portfolio is doing well. I definitely like the some of the changes I'm doing. I definitely like how the focus is starting to go towards this um, this trading app. I, I I definitely like this trading app. I like the fractional shares. I like the drip features that it has. You guys already know. If you have if you have M1 Finance, you guys know that it drips for every ten dollars that you make. So um, it's it's really automated. Is the machines really pretty much do all the work? All you're really doing is just um, having some a sort of um, percentage of stocks um, that you want to allocate to. So right now I have 100% allocated to AT&T because again, I get that 7.2 dividend and um, this company is pretty, um it's, it's at a pretty good price. I don't. I wouldn't say that it's um, undervalued here, but it's at a good price that I want to be at. And like I said, I don't care if I get 10,000 shares of AT&T and just drip that into my retirement. And I guess that's going to be it for the video, guys. I, got, I hope everyone has a great training day Monday. Today is Sunday right now. But um, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.